everyone, Steph here. Welcome back to The Stable, as it's affectionately known in the studio. Um, welcome. I've got a gear demo today. I haven't done a gear demo in a while. Um, so I thought it was about time I did one. And I've got the chance to play for a pedal that um, I've been wanting to play for for a long time. And that is the Shanks ODS-1 by Vemaram, which we're going to look at in a minute. Um, the the Vemram Shanks ODS one is, is is inspired by the Nobel's ODR one, which is the nineteen nineties kind of plasticky thing, which you know is used by most Nashville session players these days, thanks to probably Tom Bukovac and a few of the other guys. So I love that tone. I love the Nobel's ODR, although it's got too much bottom end generally, the original. I have had a reissue of it and it was a bit boomy in the bottom end. So this is inspired by that. I've also got um, Rocket GTO, which is also inspired by the Nobel's ODR. And I've also got Wampler Paisley Drive Deluxe, where the right hand side of it is based on a Nobel's ODR S, which is, as far as I know, the same as an ODR, but instead of the single spectrum sort of tone control that the original Nobel's comes with, the ODS had a three band EQ. So I've got three that are broadly based on, on the same pedal. So we're gonna look at those today. So let's get into that right now. Right, so as you can probably see, kind of of that side of the screen, as you can probably see on this side of the screen now, um, I've got the three pedals chained on the board there. Um, the Vemram Shanks ODS-1 on the left, the GTO in the middle, then the Paisley Drive Deluxe by Wampler on the right hand side. So really all I wanted to do was just kind of give a comparison between all of these three pedals based from the Nobel's um, ODR-1. So here's my clean tone. I'm using the Bad Cat, um, Black Cat 30 um, into the, the, the Bad Cat cab, which is mic'd up with a Sennheiser E609, which is going into Logic with no post processing at all. And this is clean sound, neck pick up. Reverb is courtesy of Strymon Flint on the board there, so. Bridge. Okay, so I'll generally be using the neck and the bridge there. So let's kind of just stay on the neck pickup and go through all three pedals. So here's the shanks. This is all on the neck pickup. GTO. And the Paisley Drive Deluxe. Okay, same on the bridge. Here's Vemram. GTO. And the Paisley. So straight away, the differences I can hear, um, the Vemram, I mean, I've, I've tried to dial them all in so that they're, they're thereabouts, tone-wise, but the, the Vemram's definitely got probably, I can't work out whether it's a little bit more of a scooped mid, or whether it's more of a high mid presence, which makes it sound like it's a bit more scooped in the mids, but there's definitely a slightly different EQ going on there. The GTO is a little bit more fatter in the lower mids, I think, that's what it sounds like to me. Um, the Paisley Deluxe just tends to be kind of really a little bit muddier in the mid, so I'm not sure what's going on with that pedal, but um, yeah, it's very different. That one is kind of the odd one out, really. Um, I know that's been tuned for, you know, for Brad Paisley himself, who's an awesome guitar player. If you've not heard of him, go and check him out. Incredible. Anyway, let's try some solo kind of lead stuff. So this is on the neck pickup. This is the Vemram. <laughs> GTO. 
Hazy Drive. <laughs> Paisley Drive definitely much darker, without a doubt. Um, for me, the, the GTO is is my pedal really. That's been on my board for years, and it's my number one overdrive pedal. I love it. Um, and I've been toying with getting a Vemram for ages because I knew it was based on the ODR, and having borrowed one, um, the Vemram's like two hundred quid more than the GTO. You know, really between these two. Here's the bridge, Femram. GTO. Is that tiny, tiny EQ difference worth an extra 200 quid? I don't know. So let's just look at the Femram. This is on the neck. I'm just gonna, let's crank the uh, gain right up on that and see how much gain this thing's got. There's also um, a little pot on the back of the pedal where you can increase the saturation and another little pot where you can increase and decrease the bass. Um, so yeah, there's definitely loads more controls going on that I'm, than what I'm going to show. But there's loads of videos on YouTube doing that. Um, let's see how much gain the GTO's got. Actually, let's um, AB the gain. <laughs> That wasn't too loud. <laughs> the uh, the GTO and the Vemram have, have uh, you know the same amount of gain pretty much, um, you know, gain range wise. So I'm going to pop that back. Uh, let's just sweep the tone. Now the GTO has got um, an accent control, which is kind of like your high. It's kind of like a high mid thing, and a warmth, which is. I, some people would call it a bass, I would call it a sort of a lower mid really, definitely. You know, you can knock that completely out and still get plenty of bass out of the pedal. So I think it's definitely sort of real low mids. So anyway, um, let's see what the tone control's like. Let's whack the Vem around right up. Even right up, it's really nice. See with the Paisley Drive, let's just come to that one. This is obviously, like I said, the odd one out. Definitely thicker in the mids, this one. Loads thicker. Let's back the mids right down for a minute. So I thought I'd throw that one on there just for the... Uh, just for the heck of it, really. Let's um, let's crank the gain on the on the one plug. That's really thick sounding pedal. That one, which is really nice in the studio situation, nice on its own. But I'd imagine possibly a in a band situation might get a little lost. Depends what amp you put it through, I guess. Um, so, um, between the Vemram and GTO, obviously the Vemram's got the saturation control, it's also got bass control on the, on the back. I can get within, you know, 95% of the Vemram with the GTO, I would think. There's the tiniest little EQ differences. The feel and the front of the note and the attack is very, very similar. Um, and part of me is really pleased about that because I didn't really want to spend 400 quid on a pedal when I only have to spend like the GTO is well under 200 and obviously the, the Vemram is just under 400 so I don't know I love the Vemram I think it's great if you've got the money and you want those extra that extra kind of saturation control then cool I've left it stock the saturation thing because I wanted to to AB it as the original ODR style kind of thing 
and there are other videos on YouTube with people playing with the uh, the saturation control and showing you that part, um, especially that pedal show when they they when they have the ven venue amp on there. Um, yeah, they're playing with the saturation in the bass and stuff. So anyway, hopefully that shows you a little bit of a comparison between Venuram, I can't even say it, <laughs> and, the, and the Shanks and the GTO. Um, only because when I was looking for a Shanks, there wasn't very many comparisons on YouTube, so I wanted to just give a direct comparison. So, one more bash. Let's, um, let's pop some more gain on there. Okay, bridge pickup, which is a humbucker in this guitar. It's a Sir SSV. Just the app. Camera GTO. slightly different and they just slightly um, with regard to the EQ just a little bit but to be honest in a loud band situation um, if someone swapped those two out in between sets when I went back on stage would I notice if it wasn't obviously on the floor in front of me if I was just not looking probably not not in a loud band situation I probably wouldn't notice so um, yeah you have to kind of make your choice but you know Rocket make some amazing pedals. The GTO is, like I said, by far my favorite overdrive pedal. Um, and it has been for years for a reason, and I've just found out why. <laughs> so that's cool. I love the Shanks, so if I didn't have the GTO and I had the money, I'd definitely have the Shanks. It's wicked sounding. I'm not putting it down at all. I'm just kind of giving people the option that maybe want that kind of tone for like half the money. You know, you can make your choice. So, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then please click the like button and the subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. It helps me out. And um, yeah, let's keep the chat going in the comments. Let me know what your favourite overdrive pedals are, or if you've got a different ODR clone, or even an original 90s ODR. Um, yeah, let me know. Let me know what the differences are if you've done a comparison. And um, I'll catch you soon. Thank you.